So we're going to need a chair for today. We're going to do a little bit of chair yoga. And just having it nearby, we're going to start on our mat. So grab a pillow as well, just to sit on or to help support you. That's all right. Just making sure we've got everything we need to feel comfortable and supported. And when you are ready, just hopping down onto your pillow, we're going to sit cross-legged if we can, but otherwise just sit how you feel comfortable. Wiggle around a bit, take the time to fidget before finding your stillness. I'm just going to go ahead and mute everybody as well. So if you do need me, just wave at the screen. Once we've found our place of stillness, we can close down the eyes. Rest the arms, roll the shoulders back away from the ears. Rest the hands on our thighs or over our knees. And if you're, you feel like you're not quite ready for the stillness, you can just gently draw the palms up and down the top of the legs, just drawing nice circles over the thighs. And starting to slowly drop into the body, start to notice the breath, become that witness of the breath following it in through the nose or mouth, follow it all the way down into the belly. Relaxing through the head, neck and shoulders. Relax the space between the eyebrows, unclench the jaw. Resting down into our seat, so really letting the legs relax. And as we're witnessing the breath here, if we can start to slow it down, lengthening the inhales, lengthening the exhales. We can even place one or two palms over the lower belly, just below the belly button. As we inhale, feel the belly expand out into our palms, down towards our lap. And as we exhale, Feel the belly button draw in towards the spine, emptying the palms. When our breathing feels nice and slow and controlled and relaxed, Perhaps we'd like to hold a little after the inhale. Just pause, find a little stillness in the breath. And then exhale all the way out. And again, pause after the exhale. Just a really brief pause at the top and the bottom of the breath. And we shouldn't be clenching our body to hold that breath in or gasping for our next breath. It should just be a really short pause 
Just a moment of stillness, full stillness in the body. And then see how it feels to lengthen that pause. Inhaling nice and deep, feeling the belly, feeling the belly, fill the palms down towards the lap. When the belly's full of breath, taking a pause. And then a nice long exhale, draw the belly button in towards the spine. Feel all the air move up and out and pausing at the top. And if it doesn't feel good in your body today, just following the breath in and out is fine. Always checking in with how the body feels. Perhaps lengthening out the breath even more or maybe lengthening out the pores. And then we're going to let go of the pause, just breathing in and out naturally, feeling the belly expand and contract. Keeping it long and slow. Inhaling deep into the belly through the nose if we can. And as we breathe out this time through the mouth, we're going to purse our lips as though we're blowing on a hot spoon of soup. So a really gentle blow. And letting the breath out through our pursed lips. Again, feel the belly contract in. Feel the diaphragm really working here. Keeping that exhale nice and steady through the mouth. Staying with that breath, just noticing anything that's coming up for you in the body or the mind. Check in with the nervous system here. Just noticing any subtle changes in the body here as we're breathing. That might be the stomach starting to digest a little faster. Some people can hear their heartbeats. Sometimes really clear thoughts come through or maybe you're feeling a little bit of resistance in the body or the mind to the stillness. 
It's really just about witnessing without judging ourselves, just noticing what's happening. And then slowly batting open the eyes, start to let go of our awareness to the breath, just coming back into the space. This time we're going to take our hands off our legs as we inhale, lifting the palms up towards the chest. As we exhale, pushing down, creating a little resistance for ourselves here. So make sure it's the breath that's guiding you. Pulling the spine up with the inhale, grounding down into our seat with the exhale. So really checking in with the breath here. Throughout the flow, we are going to be focusing on some more surface level muscles and tissues today. So you might feel as though you're not dropping in as much as you normally would. So it's important to stay with the breath today. And with our next exhale, dropping the hands all the way down onto our lap. Inhale to raise both arms up. Reaching the spine up towards the sky. Exhale to ground down through the seat. Keep the arms lifted. As we inhale again, reaching up a little further. With the exhale, bringing the left hand down to the right knee, coming into a little twist here, bending all the way over to the left. Start to turn the torso up towards the sky. To intensify the twist, bend a little deeper to the left and to ease the twist, come up to center. Exhale to release. Just roll the shoulders back to realign. Inhale again to lift the arms up, reaching the spine nice and long. This time with our exhale, reaching the right palm over to the left knee, resting it there, and then drawing our body over to the right. Again, intensify by leaning a little further over to the right, twisting the torso up towards the sky. And exhale to unravel. We're gonna go one more time on each side. So see if we can just deepen in a little further to that twist. Inhale to lift the arms up. Left palm to right knee. And sending the torso over to the left. If you've got the hang of this, you can close the eyes, come back into the body. And exhale to release. One more time on the other side. Inhale to lift the arms. Right palm on left knee. And twisting. Exhale to unravel.
We're going to place the palms over the knees and moving through some seated cat cows. So inhale to push the chest forward, lift the chin, tilt the hips back, bending through the elbows here, relaxing the arms. Exhale, straightening the arms, push away from the knees. Draw the belly button in, rounding through the back, drop the chin to the chest. Moving with our own breath, inhale to push the chest forward, lift the chin. Draw the forehead up towards the sky, exhale, push away from the knees, rounding through the back. So keep it nice and slow, guided by the breath. Again, we can close the eyes. As the spine starts to loosen up, we can start to exaggerate the movement a little more. Feel the front body opening up with the inhales, really pushing that chest forward, sending the shoulders back, lifting the chin, the forehead towards the sky. Exhale, draw the belly button in towards the spine. Push away from the knees. Feel the back body opening up. And then coming back through centre. Keep the palms over the knees. And we're just drawing big hip circles here. So going around just one way to start. Again, we can keep the eyes closed here. Really visualize the spine and the way that we are activating the mobility through the base of the spine here. Again, exaggerate these twists and turns. Feel either side of the rib cage opening up as we twist to the side and then the other. And then slowly pausing and going the other way. And back to centre, neutral spine. Just lifting the spine up a little bit, rolling the shoulders back, finding a really steady posture here. We are going to take our left ear down to our left shoulder. Opening up the right side of the neck and the shoulder. Make sure the shoulders stay dropped down. And then dropping the chin to the chest, roll the head to the other side. Right ear to right shoulder. And then we can start to flow again, drop the chin down, roll the head across to the other side. A very brief pause. Rolling again as we roll the head forward and across, feeling the back of the neck stretching out. And as the neck starts to loosen up, the spine starts to loosen up, 
perhaps noticing some momentum. Now slowly building as we take the head from one side to the other. Seems as though our head is rolling all by itself. Reaching the top at the shoulders and then rolling down again. and coming back up to neutral. This time we'll turn the head to face the left. And then drop the chin down so we look down at our left hip. Take our right fingertips down towards the mat on our right side, stretching out the right arm, keeping it hovering, not resting our fingertips. And bringing the arm back to centre, lifting the head back to centre and then looking over to the right. Looking down at the right hip and then sending the left fingertips out towards the left side of the mat. And coming back through centre. We'll interlace the fingers, leaving the thumbs free. We're going to slide the thumbs down either side of the spine on the neck. Cradle the base of the skull with the palms. Inhale to lift up with the chest and the spine. Exhale to drop the chin to chest. Inhale again here. Exhale to drop the arms down. So elbows come in together. And we don't want to be pulling down on the head. We just want the weight of the arms to naturally draw the head down a little bit. We don't want to feel any pain or discomfort. Closing down the eyes here, breathing through this one. And inhale to unravel and come all the way back up. Now we've got our chair nearby. We're just going to drag it over to where we are. Again, keep a pillow here in case you need some support with the postures. We're going to come onto our knees opposite our pillow, uh, opposite our chair, sorry. We want to be able to lay our forearms on the chair here with the elbows at the edge of the chair. Now take your time getting into this posture here. You might also like a pillow on top of the calves. See how you go. When you're ready, sitting the hips back down towards the heels, lifting the arms up, interlace the fingers, dropping the chest down towards the mat. Now you can rest your forehead on the chair if that works for you. If you find that the hips need a little elevation, pop a pillow over your calves as well. And then actively dropping the chest down towards the mat. Now, if this is a little bit too intense for you today, you can remove the chair completely and come down into a child's pose. So dropping the hands down onto the mat, outstretching the arms and dropping the chest and the forehead down onto the mat. 
Again, see how you're feeling today. The further we draw the chest down towards the mat, the more intense it's going to feel. So take a moment if you need to, to rest the forearms back down onto the chair. Lift the head, neck and shoulders and take a little rest. Use your pillows to support you where you can. And when you found your variation of the posture, close down the eyes and come back into the breath. We're going to be here for a minute or so. Deep inhales, take a rest when you need. Beautiful long exhales. And on our next exhale, feeling the body all the way back up to kneeling. And we're going to make our way up onto our chair, so seated up on the chair. When we are up on our chair, we want to move to the edge of our chair. And we want to spread the legs nice and wide, pointing the toes out away from us. So grounding down through the heels here, we want to activate through the legs. So we are pulling the knees out away from each other. Lengthening through the spine. We should feel like we're in a supported squat type position with wider legs, okay? And then dropping the right forearm down onto the right thigh. Resting here in a slight twist. We can draw the left arm up and over. Twisting towards the right. Staying firm through the heels. Again, to intensify, start to twist the chest up towards the sky. And exhale to unravel. Drop the left forearm down onto the left thigh. Right arm comes up and over. And exhale all the way back to center. We're going to take it one more time to each side. Move with your own breath, resting the forearm over the thigh, lifting the other hand up and over. Use an exhale to switch sides. And coming back through center. There is the option here to take a forward fold seated by bringing the ankles and knees together and forward folding over the legs. You might even like to stand up, straighten the legs and forward fold all the way down. Really up to you. And 
And then peeling ourselves all the way back up. We are going to grab the back of the chair. Strengthening through the arms, push the chest forward. Use the chair as leverage here. Opening up the front body. And then releasing. Interlace the fingers out in front. Pull the hands away. And stretching forward, opening up the back body here. And releasing. We are going to bring our knees and ankles together if they're not already. Bringing our palms together at the heart space here. Send the elbows out nice and wide. Inhale to lengthen through the spine. Exhale to melt forward. Twist towards the right and lock the left elbow in next to the right leg. So you'll find here you can use that elbow as leverage against the leg, twisting the torso open towards the sky. Now everyone's posture here will look different. Feel into your body. Nice deep breaths here. We shouldn't feel any pain or discomfort, so if you do, please unravel and perhaps take a seated twist instead. And a deep exhale, start to slowly unravel the elbow, come back to center. Inhale to lift and lengthen through the spine. Send the elbows out nice and wide. Exhale to melt forward. This time locking the right elbow against the left leg. And deep exhale to unravel. We are going to shift our weight to the right side of the chair. So make sure your right leg and glute are right at the edge here. We're going to ground down through our left foot. Drop the right knee to the side. So finding this posture first, make sure we're nice and balanced. We can use the left hand to hold on to the left side of the chair for stability. Lift the right foot, grab a hold with the right hand if you can. And when we do, starting to pull the foot back towards the glute. And this might be quite intense already. If it is, just staying here. And if you'd like a little more intensity, start to push the hips forward, tuck the hips under, and really square off the front of the body so that you're facing the front. Lift the spine up and perhaps push the right knee down a little bit. Keep it all nice and slow. And then breathing into this stretch here. We're really focusing on the surface level muscles, the quads, the big muscles that we use when we squat. So we don't want to be feeling it any deeper than that. We don't want to be feeling it in the knee.
and exhale to release gently. Shift our weight back to the center. And perhaps scooching back a little on the chair. Leaning back if we've got a back rest. Lifting the knees to the chest. We'll drop the left leg down. Plant the toes. Interlace the fingers behind the hamstring on the right leg. So not underneath the knee, just above the knee. Pull the toes back towards ourselves and then start to straighten the leg. Now it doesn't matter how straight the leg is, if you're here and you're feeling it in the hamstring, that's great. If your leg is all the way straight, that's perfect. Keep the shoulders roll back. Elbows nice and close to the body, squeezing into the ribcage. And again, staying with the breath here if you need a break. Just swing the foot down, draw the knee up to the chest, and then go again. With an exhale, we will release all the way down. Scooting over to the left this time. Same thing, we're going to drop the left foot down. Keep the right foot planted on the mat. Hold on to the right side of the chair for stability here. Lift the left foot, grab a hold. Find your posture first before making adjustments. Come back to the breath. And if you'd like to intensify, start to tilt the hips forward. Pull a little harder on the foot and drop the knee down towards the mat. Keep the shoulders rolled back. Again, we shouldn't be feeling any pain or discomfort, so ease up on the posture. If you're feeling any twangs around the knee joint. And exhale to release down nice and slow. Moving back to the center of our chair, scooching back a little bit. You can lift both knees up for a second. And drop the right foot down this time. Interlacing the fingers behind the right hand of the left hamstring, but not behind the knee, just above. Pull the toes back towards ourselves and start to straighten the leg. Now you might notice a difference from one side to the next. I know I definitely have a little less flexibility in this leg, so not pushing ourselves to the same posture as before. Keep the elbows tucked in. Nice and tight to the body. Pull the shoulders down. And it doesn't matter if your leg is bent too much or it's all the way straight. Nice deep breaths here. And releasing down. We're going to plant our feet down on the mat, scooch to the edge of the chair. Bring the feet a little further away from the chair, using the chair to push up 
and forward and straightening out the backs of the legs, Maybe walking out the legs a little bit, Maybe a forward fold, see how you feel. And then bending the knees quite generously, plant the hands and coming down onto our mat. We can move the chair out of the way. We're going to come all the way down onto our back. So again, use pillow underneath your head if you need. Some support under the head, neck and shoulders. Laying all the way down, legs slide out down to the bottom of our mat. And just taking a moment here to feel nice and neutral in the body. You can close down the eyes. Feel the weight of our body and our muscles fully relaxing down onto the mat now. We are going to bring our arms up above our head, still resting the arms and the hands on the mat. But just up above our head, we can. We're going to start shifting the right foot, shuffling it across the floor towards the right side, as far as it can go. And then following with the left, shuffle the left foot over towards the right. We're starting to create our banana pose here. So a bend through the spine. And if it is possible for you, you can cross the ankles over. So left ankle over the right. You don't have to do that. And with the arms above our head, shuffling the hands and the arms over to the same side as the feet. We're really creating that bend in the body, our human banana pose. So feeling the left side of the body here, really opening up from the ankle all the way up the leg, up to the hip, feeling the back muscles separating from the hip joint here. Opening up through the rib cage. See if we can inhale into that left rib cage, expanding the left side of the torso. All the way up over the armpit, through the arms, into the hands, the fingertips at the top. We can close down the eyes if they're not already closed. When we feel comfortable in this posture, coming back to our breath, becoming that witness of the breath. Inhale to expand the torso, expand the belly, the rib cage. Exhale to draw the belly button in towards the spine. And notice how that changes the posture. Notice the subtle differences between the inhale and the exhale, how the body expands and contracts. And if we start to feel any tingling or discomfort in the arms with them above our head, 
we can just drop them down to our side, keep the legs in that bent banana pose. And likewise, if there is any compression in the lower spine, especially on that right side, just start to draw the legs back towards centre. So listening to your body. And very gently, we're going to start to shift over to the other side. So bring the arms down first, give them a little break, let the blood flow back into the hands, and then slowly start to shuffle the left foot back through centre, followed by the right. Start to shuffle the left foot over to the left side this time. Nice and gently, nice and slow. Followed by the right. And if it's possible for you, you can cross the ankles over. We want to keep our hips as close to the mat as possible. And then lifting the arms up above head. And over to the same side as the feet, really bending through that right side of the body this time, opening up, breathing into the right rib cage. Feeling the hips being pulled down and the back being pulled up. We're really separating the space there between the hips and the lower back is where we can feel a lot of compression from sitting down, even from standing up. So we're just giving a little space there, perhaps visualizing the vertebrae in our spine separating as well, beautiful stretch and space being created there along the spine. Following that expansion up from the ankles all the way up and over the legs, over the hips, along the spine and up towards the fingertips. Check in with the arms again and if they need to come down by our side, that's perfectly fine. And same with the legs. If we start to feel compression on the left side of our spine here, start to draw the legs back to center. With a nice long exhale, slowly unraveling, bringing the arms down by our side, shuffling the feet back to center, and letting the legs splay out a little bit. Let the feet splay open down towards the bottom of the mat. Relaxing through the feet, we can wiggle out the toes, roll out the ankles, Actively relaxing the calves, the crease behind the knees, the quads and the hamstrings and the glutes. 
Feel the legs become nice and heavy. If you've got a blanket nearby and you'd like to pop that over your legs or your torso, you can do that now. If you'd like a pillow underneath your knees, you can pop one under your knees. Or if you don't have one underneath your head, you can go ahead and pop one there too. Use your props and your supports to make yourself nice and comfortable here. And if you're feeling fully supported by your mat, and you can really relax down into that space without any props, that's great too. Resting the hands and the arms wherever they feel comfortable perhaps by our side or palms over the belly. And coming back into the breath for these last few minutes. We're seeing the breath go in and out of the body. And if we feel any resistance in the body tissues or in the mind, any thoughts popping up, trying to release that with the exhale. Keep our awareness on the flow of our breath Acknowledging how nourishing it is to breathe deeply and remain still for the nervous system, our digestive system, and our hormonal system. We're really deeply nourishing ourselves just by relaxing the body. And if you would like to finish the flow on your side, you can roll over into the fetal position and tuck the knees up into your chest. Or you can remain laying in this Shavasana. I will be closing down the session now, so stay as long as you need to. And take it nice and slow when you do re-enter into your day. Wishing you all a beautiful weekend. Hope the sun comes out and I will see you next Saturday at eight o'clock.